Hello everyone, this is Matthew once again, and today I'm going to do a movie review. Since I did my review of Back to the Future Part 3, I did say I was going to review this film, but instead I am doing special inside look videos, true reaction videos, and doing a movie review of Creed and Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. And now today is finally the right time to do it. And I'm going to review, to honor it, on its 45th anniversary, THX Lemon this is George Lucas' first film, and it's based on his student film that he made back at the University of Southern California in 1967. And now, he gets to turn his short film into a movie. And the movie stars Robert Duvall and Donald Pleasance, who is the second producer, Francis Ford Coppola, The Men Who Brought You the Godfather Trilogy, screenplay by George Lucas and Walter Murch, and directed by George Lucas, who is one of my all-time favorite filmmakers. And yes, he is the man that brought you the Star Wars franchise. And... Before I give you my thoughts on the film, here's the backstory. Lux's title, THX, was named after his San Francisco telephone number, 849, where the letters THX correspond to the numbers 849. And Lucas did make references to his film, THX, in some of the films he's made. Like, for example, in American Graffiti, where you have John Miller's car, where his license plate says THX 138. And the part in Stars of the Four New Hope, where Luke and Han disguise himself as stormtroopers for their ticket chewing in, and Luke says, Prisoner Cell 1138. And the name THX was used as a sound company for using sound in cinema. And then Lucas originally wanted to shoot this film in Japan, but Koba didn't have enough money for Lucas for the film's budget. So instead, it was filmed in Los Angeles and San Francisco. The officials at Warner Brothers were not really satisfied by the finished product, so they pretty much recut Lucas' film and reduced the marketing budget. THX Lemon Trade will go on to be released on March 11, 1971, and it received mixed reviews by critics, but it was a failure at the box office. The budget of the film was $777,777.77, and for its rentals, it only made $945,000. Lucas will go back and remaster it as his director's cut and release it on September 10, 2004 and only made $2.437 million at the box office. As of today, the film has gone acclaimed reviews over the years and has now become a cult film. George Lucas is considered THS38 to be the greatest achievement of his career. So, my thoughts on the movie? I really love this film. It is a very well done movie. I really love it from beginning to end. It is a wonderfully visual experience of a movie. To me, it just feels like watching a Stanley Kubrick film where you're just watching more of the visuals, like the same way how you feel about 2001 A Space Odyssey. And basically, the premise of this movie is more about mankind trying to escape his environment, which is what the character THX was. He's our main character story, and he's trying to escape from the society that's being controlled by the government. As... Like I said, I repeat, mankind trying to escape his environment. All the cats all did a wonderful job, especially for Roger Duvall, who does a really good job. He's really the hero you root for, and he's definitely the man we were supposed to follow, and definitely what he was trying to go through. And I really love Lyle Shepard's music, who does an absolutely terrific job with the music. I really love his music. Like, I love his music since the Rush Hour movies, as well as Into the Dragon and Dirty Harry. And I thought the film is very well written, and is also well directed by George Lucas, who I've always been a fan of. I think he does a fantastic job. He knows where to point the camera at, and he knows how to create something visually wonderful to make this kind of experience. And I know there's many of you who have a love and hate relationship with George Lucas, but to me, I don't hate George Lucas. I've always been a fan of his. I love this film, I love American Graffiti, and I love all six of the Star Wars movies. And as well as, I like the special editions, and I honestly do not mind the fourth Indiana Jones movie that Spielberg directed. So, but I don't want to start the whole love and hate scene on Lucas, because I'm here to talk about this movie. And also, the movie is like only 88 minutes long, and it really does go by at a pretty good pace. And it really does keep me going, it kept me invested with it. And, yeah. It's not really much of a heavy-handed dialogue story and all, all of this you're just watching is more is like you're watching the visuals and if I have any problems on the movie I will say is the CGI and the director's cut some of the CGI is really good while some of the CGI is 
not so good at all, but it, it is what it is. But nevertheless, I don't really have that too much problems with the movie, except if you've not seen THX on the you really gotta get this movie a watch. It's definitely worth checking out. If you like some of the Lucas's films, then I think you'll probably enjoy this one. So THX on the I'm giving this movie an A. So that's my review of THX on the do you like this video? Do you not like the video? Is there anything I could have said anything better about the movie? Or what? Feel free to put the comments down below and also don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what can I do in order to make better videos. So, thank you for watching. Take care. And also, now I review THX Eight, which was a cult film. I'm going to review this one that also has a cult following. And sadly, it never got released on Blu-ray. Batman. Mask of the Phantasm. Stay tuned.